and welcome to the administrator application for Caltrap. In this session, we're working with hosts and we're already logged in. I've zoomed into a level where we can see this county's trapping sites and some other data. The trapping sites are indicated in pale yellow around the parcel lines and the hosts are indicated by colored circles on the sites. You can see that a trap has been placed at this site the green color indicates that the trap servicing is current. Moving up to this trap icon here, the red color indicates that the trap service is overdue. You can also see dogs present on trapping sites. To work with hosts, click on the Manage Hosts icon in the Surveys tab. We're going to zoom in and take a look at some hosts. Another note about hosts before you go live with Caltrap in your county, go ahead and review the host in your county and make sure that they're current. The trapper can also do this with their iPad out in the field. Let's take a look at this site here. By clicking on the site, we see that this one site has one trap on it and two hosts. Let's take a look at the host. To get more detail, we click on this arrow and we see that we have a lemon and an orange. Notice how the map follows the mouse here. Let's take a look at the orange tree. By clicking on that, Caltrap displays a few more details about the tree. Let's manage our hosts. We're going to start by adding a host. We'll click Add Host and Add New Host Location. Then we'll click on an area for the site where we want to add the tree. Caltrap displays site details that allows you to confirm that you're at the right address, so you can show and hide this and then select a tree category. The categories we have are berries, common fruit trees, less common fruit trees, nut trees, ornamental trees, structures such as fences and poles, and vegetables. We will add a lime as our new host and click Save. After confirming, you'll see the new host displayed on the site, and the green color helps us know that this is a lime tree. By clicking off the site and back on, it refreshes the host count. So now we see three hosts. To modify a host, click Modify Host and Locate Existing Host. Then click on the host that you want to modify. Let's change our lime tree to a nut tree. And we'll click Save. Notice that the color of our tree just changed to accommodate the new tree type. If you want to remove a host, click on Manage Hosts and Modify Host. Click Locate Existing Host and then select the host that you want to remove. Under Deactivate Host, check the Deactivate box and click Save. And the host has been removed from the display. This wraps up our work with hosts. Be sure to check out our other videos and downloadable user guide at caltrapinfo.com. Thanks for watching.